Okay, so that was not Court, Courtney Naira uh, recorded live at Sunday Jazz, the Village Cafe in Martinborough some time ago. Uh, many of you will remember Courtney Naira. She's a, a darling of the uh, of the Carterton uh, swing set. She's got a beautiful voice, and she was uh, our winner in uh, Talent Wide at Upper in uh, 2018. Um, we, we love Courtney, she's come and she's sung for us at some of our club do's, you often see her uh, playing around local clubs and events and venues, she's got a beautiful voice and we wish her well for the future. But that kind of leads into Talent Wide at Upper, um, Talent Wide at Upper is uh, something that uh, Carterton Rotary have been uh, convening since 2018, uh, we convened it again in 2019, Last last year we missed out because uh, obviously COVID sort of stepped in and uh, prevented us from running the show, um, but we are getting all set up to run it again in 2021. So Talent Wide It Upper, um, just as a recap, it's uh, it's a it's a variety show, much like you see on the television. Uh, America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent. We want we want to see. Um, all sorts, not just singers and dancers. You know, maybe you're a ventriloquist, maybe you're a comedian. Uh, perhaps you do amazing gymnastics, or you can play the spoons. Uh, if it's entertaining and it's suitable for viewing by a family, then we are up for it. So uh, look out for the advertising. Uh, we will be uh, searching for. Uh, um, people to audition um, in the very near future. Meanwhile, you guys need to get practice, get all polished up so that you can put on a good show. Uh, in terms of timing, the uh, the show itself will be uh, probably middle of June uh, with uh, a series of auditions at uh, local schools and then uh, there'll be semi-finals again probably at Makoda and Kurunui College, same as last year. Um, I must admit, last uh, not last year, the time before, 2019, I made it to some of those semi-finals where you got to see a few of the uh, artists who didn't make it through to the final, and those shows were fantastic. You know, it was a, a I think it was a fiver at the door, uh, all went to fundraising, and you got a fantastic show by some up-and-coming, um, particularly up-and-coming young people uh, within the uh, Carterton district. It was uh, really, really cool. So we've got that coming up. Um... Another thing that I thought I'd uh, mention about Talent Wider Upper and, and one of the reasons why we in uh, Carterton Rotary are so proud of it is that it's it's sort of a springboard for uh, lots of people to uh, be discovered, I guess. Um, it's an opportunity for young people especially to get a bit of experience playing in front of a big crowd um, and and basically a springboard for their careers to, to be known. Um, we've... Uh, really lucky in Carterton to have a, another gentleman there called Minty Hunter who uh, recently set up a thing called Wonder 21 which was along the lines of uh, Talent Wide It Upper but less of a competition and more of a uh, display. Uh, it was an opportunity for uh, young artists to get experience performing in big venues and in front of big crowds. I got uh, along to the uh, Wonder 21 at Carterton Event Centre uh, with my daughters and we had a fantastic time. Um, some of the acts there, in fact most of the acts there we've already seen through Talent Wired Upper and through the Smoke Free Rock Quest. Um, we had Meg Hunter with Alex Hartley. Um, we had Jerome Loper uh, and his band Seki Bradas. And his sister, uh, Linnell Loper, um, she, uh, she's got a lovely voice as well. And, and as a family, they did a fantastic job. Um, Araya Matthews, um, he's... Uh, I don't know how to describe his voice. He's uh, he's uh, it's it's just gorgeous. Um, you have to have to hear him to believe his voice. Dragonfly uh, from uh, Wycol, um, they get better and better. Yeah, you know, I think when I first saw them, I thought they were a school band. Now you look at them, and they are they are quite polished and looking quite professional. And of course, Julian Eldred uh, this time was under the name Mr. Deathwish. Uh, he's he's uh, got some great got some great tunes, and uh, he played as well uh, in Wonder 21. So Julian um, was our winner uh, of the senior competition in 2019. Um, he's the uh, son of our much-loved pastor uh, at St Mark's Church, uh, Andy Eldred. Um, he himself is a, a rocker of old and uh, at Wonder 21 he was even on the stage um, with his son Julian um, and playing um, I've got a piece of music here for him, from Julian. It's not the one he played at Wonder 21, but it is one that I quite enjoy of his. And I'll just see if I can cue it up and play it for you now. So Julian um, 
he was he played in the uh, Talent Wired Upper in 2019. Um, he also played in um, in Wonder 21. But even before he came to Carterton, he was writing and playing his own music. This piece is called uh, Poison Veins. Here for um, Julian Eldred. And I hope you like it. This is a song I wrote. It tastes just like cigarette. You're perfect, aren't you? Jealous of the sun. And the way it burns, can you feel the sun rays charging you? Girl, I know you better than the dark. You're me. So that was uh, that was Julian Eldred, uh, an original piece um, called Poison Veins. Um, that was actually recorded um, quite away from here. It was uh, playing at the Kuklas Woodshed in North Hollywood back in 2016. So um, Julian's got a, a really a, quite an exciting style of music, which uh, I really enjoy, and I'm really excited to see where he goes in the future. Now we're going to come back to some more of our previous winners uh, in uh, for talent wired it up uh, later in the show but just uh, now I wanted to move on to um, something exciting coming up for Carterton which is our district conference the district conference uh, last year it was uh, cancelled due to COVID which was un- un- unfortunate for uh, for the then governor um, John Mohi um, prior to that the uh, Marion Johnson had her district conference in Whanganui um, but this year this year the uh, district conference uh, for Gillian Jones is going to be held in Carterton. Now Gillian's a, uh, a resident of Greytown and uh, Carterton Event Centre is kind of like, well Carterton is the heart of the uh, wider Upper and our event centre is kind of like the, well in my view I'm a bit biased but it's it's the best venue within the wider Upper for these sorts of things so uh, it was natural that it would be there and we're very very lucky um, to uh, have it so close to home. 
Um, the Cutterton Event Centre itself um, is a bit of an icon in the Wairarapa. Um, the project began back in 2005. A really, really big community project um, to try and get it over the line. Um, it was a big dollars at that time. Um, construction began in about 2010, and then it was opened um, on the 29th of October um, 2012, I believe, um, by the um, by the Right Honourable Chris Findlayson. Minister of Arts, Culture and Heritage at the time. And there's a bit of a segue there because Chris Finlayson was also a speaker at the last district conference at Whanganui. Uh, he got up with um, Dame Tariana Turia and they talked about uh, the Whanganui River and it uh, gaining personhood or becoming a legal entity in its own right so that it could be looked after uh, looked after and protected as if it were a person. So there's a bit of a bit of a segue there. So Chris opened the Carterton Events Centre, he spoke at the last one, and now we're having the conference here in Carterton. So as I said, this is uh, the conference for our district governor, Gillian Jones. Um, there's a bit of a programme uh, there, a uh, bit of a programme organised, which uh, looks like it'll be pretty cool. Uh, the Friday night when people arrive, um, they're going to head down to Cobblestones in Greytown. Cobblestones in Greytown is a fantastic venue. It's got lots of uh, treasures, I would say, of the past. Uh, it's a bit of a celebration of um, the, I guess, the post-arrival of um, Europeans development within uh, the Wairarapa. Uh, there's some fantastic old pictures um, and some great stories um, to be had. And, and the, the complex itself is full of old pieces of equipment, buildings that have been relocated and kept as original as they can be. So it's it's quite a quite a special place and so on Friday night there'll be a mix and mingle at the cobblestones and and that'll be where everyone can get to know each other on the Saturday the uh, speaking program starts um, we've got uh, several speakers coming up um, uh, Dr Paul Wood is going to talk about uh, what might be holding us back as clubs um, things that might be uh, what did he call it what's your prison so what's holding us back from making the changes that we need uh, and responding to changing communities because the community's not static either. Um, then there's uh, a number of speakers that are going to talk to uh, change and how it's affecting us. We've got Greg Lang, the Mayor of Carterton. Uh, he's going to talk to you about things like the Mayor's Task Force for Jobs and Youth to Work Initiative, getting uh, young people employed, uh, and the changing face of local government perhaps, and also the changing face of Carterton. Our uh, CBD is uh, going through quite a transformation at the moment. Following that, we've got uh, Eva Hutshawn Sanders. Um, she's going to uh, help us uh, with a facilitated discussion and uh, go through uh, looking at how our chub, how our clubs um, need to change or could change uh, in response to changing population uh, to try and keep ourselves relevant and improving. And then finally, before lunch on the Saturday, we've got Martin Bosley. Now, Martin Bosley, uh, I'm quite excited to uh, hear from him. He's uh, a bit of an iconic uh, person uh, in this area, uh, having run restaurants in Wellington. He's a, an iconic chef, he writes, he's a columnist and author, um, and uh, I'm quite interested to uh, hear uh, what he has to say. After lunch there's going to be a, a taste of Wairarapa, um, an experience for, um, in uh, with Carterton being the uh, the heart of the Wairarapa and also kind of like the food the food hub or the food basket of the Wairarapa. Um, there's some fantastic wineries and some fantastic artisan uh, food producers uh, within Carterton District and, and within the wider Wairarapa. Um, and so after lunch uh, that afternoon on Saturday we'll go out and uh, experience some of that uh, some of that uh, excellent uh, produce. Saturday evening is going to be uh, quite exciting. Saturday evening is the, uh, they're calling it the Swing Fling Dinner. Uh, fabulous food and, veg um, and beverages will be hosted at the Carterton Events Centre uh, and the entertainment that night is uh, a gentleman called Steve Carlin um, Steve Carlin's a bit of a crooner uh, he sings very very well um, in fact I feel terrible saying that because he's actually pretty awesome um, and uh, so what they're looking for is people to come along dressed for the party and uh, in fashion for the for the decade in which your club was chartered so that takes us quite a long way back uh, and could be quite exciting to see if we can pick which which decade each club was uh, done. Now I, uh, I'm going to uh, battle the, uh, battle the uh, technology again and I've got a little snippet here of uh, Steve Carlin and some of his music. Uh, he's about to, he's about to 
uh, release a, an album, I believe his first, and he's put out a wee snippet. It's three pieces back to back, uh, so if it jumps a little bit in the middle, that's why. But yeah, enjoy. This is Steve Carlin uh, playing some pieces from his... It's a lovely day for going nowhere And nowhere is a place I'm dreaming of Cause it really don't matter if it rains or shines The weather don't matter at all The only thing they say is It's a lovely day There's a blue sky waiting for me Goodbye to the rain man Soon be on his way You won't need your overcoat It's gonna be a sunny day And now I'm stepping out Feel as if I'm flying Laughing till I'm crying there's a blue sky waiting for me Together when we touch You can explain the way you feel Cause your mind's made up to not know what to do So you think that you've got all you want in life but you should realize that what you need is me. And that's Steve Carlin. So that's the entertainment for the uh, Swing Fling Dinner at the uh, Rotary District Conference, which will be occurring in the Carterton Events Centre um, over the weekend, 19 to 21 March. So, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, Robbie Williams, Eat Your Heart Out. That's uh, an example of the, the quality of music and singing that we're going to uh, have in the evening so uh, do look forward to that. The Sunday um, is going to be a little bit more uh, traditional for the conference talking about some of our rotary programs, changing the world, give every child a future, um, end polio now, investing in our future and then there's going to be a discussion around centennial projects. What are we going to do to mark the, uh, the centennial years of uh, both rotary and our clubs? Um, some of the examples um, and some of them which are underway, uh, Wellington Regional Children's Hospital um, Rotary Peace Remembrance and Community Forests, lifting the lid on youth suicide and other youth programs. So uh, we look forward to seeing you all at the conference um, over the weekend 19th to 21st, but uh, I'm uh, very pleased also to let you know that on Friday the 26th, if you'd like to stick around in Carterton District and enjoy some of that wonderful food, wonderful wine and wonderful company, on Friday the 26th of March, um, Carterton uh, Rotary is putting on an Ambrose Golf Tournament. It's the New World Carterton and Carter Carterton Rotary Ambrose Golf Tournament. This is the first time we've run it, um, but I tell you what, uh, John and Veronica, who have uh, put most of the horsepower into organising it, gosh, do they know their golf. Um, they've put together a fantastic, uh, a fantastic plan. Uh, it's going to be teams of three. Um, 18 holes, shotgun start, it's Ambrose of course, so it's open to men, women and non-golfers. Uh, it's going to be a fabulous fun day, there's food provided afterwards in the clubhouse, there will be prizes, um, and uh, yes, yeah, so keep an eye out for that. If you want to know more about the uh, Ambrose Golf Tournament, uh, feel free to give me a call, um, that's Rob on 021-438-762, and I will send you through uh, John's uh, contact details so that you can uh, um, secure your place within the competition. So that's the Ambrose Golf Tournament on Friday the 26th of March. That's the Friday following the uh, Rotary District Conference at uh, Carterton Event Centre. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty exciting um, to have that following up as well. Uh, next thing I want to talk about was um, satellite clubs. Now I know Carterton Rotary is a little bit different from other Rotary clubs in that we, we have a satellite club. Uh, and uh, we're pretty we're pretty proud and excited um, that they exist. Um, satellite clubs were a new construct for membership, uh, which was specifically designed to suit people who were maybe a little bit busier um, than your typical Rotary member. People who couldn't make a regular meeting in an, of an evening. Um, perhaps they commute. Perhaps they were. Um, extra busy and, and, and couldn't commit to coming out for a meal on the same night every week. 
Um, so satellite clubs, um, a minimum of eight members and then they can be incorporated. They are just like any other club. They are full Rotary members. The only difference is that uh, at the moment they sit underneath a parent club. Um, but in terms of the membership itself and contributing to the Rotary ethos, they are full Rotary members. And we're really lucky in Carterton to have a fantastic bunch of young particularly young, I say that without trying to cast dispersions on the parent club, but they are they are quite a bit younger and they do have some really fantastic ideas, um, some really fantastic ideas of how to fundraise and how to reach people. Um, and, and that's the benefit of having that different membership model and that we can then tap into those different ideas and hopefully um, be able to spread the, uh, the rotary word. So... Um, I guess firstly, well done to our satellite club. Thank you very much for what you do. Um, but to anyone else that's listening from other clubs, um, satellite clubs are a fantastic idea and they are well worth pursuing. So if you are interested in uh, finding out how ours has gone and 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 how we got one set up, then uh, again, give us a call um, at Carterton Rotary. You can find us in Club Runner um, and um, Alan who was the architect of getting it done, uh, will be more than welcome, more than happy to uh, to share his experience. Um, I wanted to talk briefly about uh, um, some of the other things that we've got coming up uh, in the next few months. So we've, we're so, so lucky in New Zealand to be able to have events and to be able to meet in groups and, and, and have some of the things that we've got going on. And we mustn't forget that other parts of the world are really missing out. But uh, to our, you know, to our benefit, we have a few other things coming up. Um, the Carterton School Gala is coming up on the seventeenth of March. That's another Friday. It's an evening uh, sort of gala fate style, the same as they've done for the last couple of years. Uh, Rotary Carterton will be there with manning the uh, candy floss stand again. Um, I spoke with Louisa, who's the um, the head of their parent teacher association and she I know that she is really looking for um, parent helpers to uh, help with some of the uh, setting up for the gala and that's not on the night this is uh, help with things like organizing um, some of the various bits and pieces um, they they're looking for sponsorship in the form of prizes raffles and that for the wheel um, and if uh, they're also looking for people to help um, do baking, for example, they'll even provide the uh, the raw ingredients. But they need people with ovens who can do some baking and drop it off at the school on the afternoon of the seventeenth uh, for some of their stands. So, if again, if you uh, want to get hold of Louisa, get hold of me on o two one four three eight seven six two, and I will I will uh, put you in touch with Louisa so that you can give her a hand. Um, if you've got prizes or you know of businesses who would like to sponsor um, the gala itself for the, the wheel and the raffles, then you can contact one of the teachers, Kirsty Hull, um, at the uh, at Carterton School. Um, just before, in fact the week before um, the school gala, we've also got Harvest Festival, which uh, thankfully is going to be back on. It's down the bottom end of Dakins Road. Um, it's always a wonderful, a wonderful, wonderful event down there on the River Flats. Um, lots of be beautiful local wines, lots of beautiful local food, really nice atmosphere. Uh, Rotary Carterton will be there again this year, helping out with um, ticketing and with uh, parking, making sure that those parts go seamless so that you can just enjoy your afternoon. So keep an eye out, get your tickets, and we'll hopefully see you down at the Harvest Festival on the 13th of March. And then even before the 13th of March, and this one is really close, is Wings Over Wider Upper. In fact, when you're listening to this, Wings Over Wider Upper may have already occurred. Um, but uh, towards the very end of February, Wings Over Wider Upper, it was called off last year, unfortunately. I've had a bit of trouble with weather in the past, but we've everyone's crossing everything, fingers, toes, legs, to try and uh, ensure that the uh, the weather plays the game this year. They've got a fantastic program. Rotary will be there again this year, uh, helping out with parking, ticketing, um, and programs. Um, so keep an eye out, uh, say good day as you're passing, and have a fantastic day at Wings over Wider Upper. We've just got so many cool things happening in the Wider Upper uh, and around the Carterton district um, that we just we're just so lucky. Um, I've got a couple other little bits that I want to sort of reminisce on. Um, we've got uh, one of our. So I've already talked about uh, Courtney Naira who who won Talent Wider Upper back in 2018. Uh, Julian Eldred, who won the senior section of uh, the competition in 2019. Um, next, I'm going to play a piece by uh, Meg Hunter. 
who was our junior winner, so the 14 and unders, and do remember this, she was only 14, um, the uh, talent winded up in 2019. Now Meg's Meg's amazing, she writes loads of her own stuff, just recently she's hooked up with a, a school friend called Alex Hartley and they're playing together, they played together at uh, 1 to 21 um, and, and that's doing, that's going really well. Um, she also, even during during COVID, um, she was able to remotely apply for the Smoke Free Rock Quest in 2020. And uh, to her credit, she played uh, three original pieces. There was Summer Came Scattered, Garden Grass and Over You Already. Um, and she won the uh, the Wired Up Original solo duo section. So that was fantastic. Now I've got, again, I'm going to uh, brave the technology again here. It's uh, not a difficult thing, but uh, trying to make it work while you still keep talking and make sense is the bit that really trips me up sometimes. So I've got here Meg, um, Summer Came Scattered, and this was this was one of her audition pieces for the Smoke Free Rock Quest in 2020. Summer came scattered, you erase me, then retrace me after changing all that matters. I can't seem to figure out what happened. Every time we cross back, I find a new way to get out of my head. But nothing falls perfect, and we can't get back to what we had. Tips across the sunset Thoughts of you replay in my head Thoughts of you replay that I can't forget But our moment is gone and I'm dissolving So I let seasons decay the blame I'll leave you waiting again is it visible that I hold on when everything has changed? Every time we cross back, find a new way to get out of my head. But nothing falls perfect. We can get back to what we had. I lay shattered amongst your regrets. And as my fingertips across the sun. Scatter, you erase me, then retrace me after changing all that matters. Can't seem to figure out what happened. That was uh, Meg Hunter singing uh, Summer Came Scattered, uh, an original piece by her, which was uh, part of her. Uh, audition for the Smoke Free Rock Quest in 2020, uh, where she won the uh, Wired Up Regional Solo Duo category. So well done, Meg. We look forward to uh, seeing your career um, go forward in leaps and bounds. Um, I was also uh, looking through some of the other some of the other uh, um, performers that were at One to Twenty One that, that really stood out to me, and one of those was uh, Jerome Loper. Um, Jerome and his sister Linnell. Um, they, uh, I can't remember where I first saw them. I, I know they sang at the Rock Quest back in 2019. Uh, I know that they were in Talent Wired Upper in 2019. In fact, Jerome came second. He came second in that junior section for Talent Wired Upper in 2019. Um, he's since formed a band, Siki Bradass, and they played at uh, 1 to 21 with uh, Linnell coming in and singing some of the female parts and uh, they were just awesome. The energy in their performance was great. But can you imagine, can you imagine um, Jerome being a, uh, a young schoolboy and he's at uh, Makoto College and uh, he's, he's doing all these covers and singing all these really cool songs and one of the songs he sings is uh, 
is um, Take It Easy um, by Stan Walker. And can you imagine if uh, if your idol, Stan Walker, came into the school and started singing with you while you were playing? Um, I've got a little clip here, which is quite cool. It uh, starts out with Jerome and it finishes with Stan, and it's a bit of both of them. It's very fun. If you can imagine them in a library with lots of other kids po- pointing uh pointing phones and doing selfies you'll uh, you will understand exactly what Jerome was going through but here please enjoy <laughs> That uh, clip kind of epitomises for me what is so exciting about Talent Wired Up and and what Minty's doing with 1 to 21. These are young people who, I don't know where they come from in terms of of means and stuff, but they're young kids at school with amazing talent and all you've got to do is give them that opportunity to shine and and just look what happens. so to Jerome, um, obviously that was that was the Stan Walker uh, visit of the school and sang with Joe Jerome there. Um, the clip, if you look for it up on uh, YouTube, um, it is uh, quite funny watching some of the interaction between the kids who just cannot believe that Stan Walker is there. And uh, they're singing along and having a great time. Um, so that's pretty much uh, the uh, all I've got for you today. Um, the things to look out for coming up, obviously, is the uh, the conference. Get registered for the conference. It's coming up um, on the 19th, 20, 21st of March. Uh, it'll be at the Cardin Event Centre. Um, do get in early uh, for accommodation uh, because the accommodation options are uh, can be um, can be an issue. So uh, do get in early and, and sort that for yourselves. Um, we'd love to see you at the uh, school gala. Uh, we'd love to see you at uh, Wings Over Wired Up and the Harvest Festival, but even more so, we'd love to see you at the Ambrose Golf Tournament. We'd love to see every hole with uh, two teams of three uh, on the Friday, the 26th of March. Remember, it's sponsored. Uh, New World Carterton uh, are very kindly and very generously sponsoring the tournament, um, and there will be food and prizes, uh, shotgun start, a really fun day. It's open to everyone, men, women and non-golfers. Uh, there will be a handicap system in place to uh, account for uh, who's who. So uh, we'd love to see you there as well. Um, and that's pretty much me. So we've got one it's time for one more song. Um, and just because I can, I'm going to give you the... In fact, another one of uh, Meg's songs, this one's called Over You Already, it's another one of her original songs, which she uh, put through for the uh, Smoke Free Rock Quest in 2020. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in another in another Rotary Matters coming up. Uh, enjoy. I'm still getting to grips with the technology. Here we go. Look at you, don't feel the same. 
Walking down a different way No, it's not my place, but now I wanna stay But she took you down a different way Take it away, it's not helpful to me Tired of being consumed by your persistent memory You try too hard for me when you decided to flee Leave me be, I'm retiring from your energy Cause you make me of you already, of you already, of you already Can't escape the thoughts that stay with me When will you tell me, when will you hurt Stay with me When will you tell me When will you hurt me See you in the light of day Breaking your pain in such a shame She sees you in a different way Reminiscing is all that's left for me Take it away It's not helpful to me Consumed by your persistent memory You try too hard for me When you decided to flee Leave me be I'm retiring from your energy Cause you make me Of you already Of you already Of you already Can't escape the thoughts That stay with me when will you tell me? When will you hurt me? You make me of you already, of you already, of you already. Can't escape the thoughts that stay with me. When will you tell me? When will you hurt me? And again, that was Meg Hunter. Um, to quote uh, Ryan Cole, someone signed this girl quick. <laughs> well, sign this girl already, I think he said. Anyway, um, so that's all from uh, Rotary Matters for uh, this week. Um, nō reira, uh, ka mihi nui, kia koutou katoa. Uh, we'll see you again. God bless.